How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about this application, Magist Manager. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I'm doing my best. And we're gonna talk about how to install this and how to utilize it. So basically what this is, is this is more or less a replacement for Super SU made by Chainfire. And the thing that's neat about this is the fact that it is open source. So to, to get this and to get it installed, you're gonna need to download some files. So I'm just gonna show you that I've got the file that you're gonna need downloaded already, um, which should be under storage. I have it on my SD card. And you're gonna need to download this right here. At least this is the current version here right there and basically that's just like the super su zip and we're going to flash it in recovery and i'm just going to show you the differences about this versus super su so we're going to power off and we're going to boot into um, bootloader mode and then right into recovery from there and that you should have you do have to have a uh, twerp recovery available for your device and installed if you don't have that i mean obviously you can go ahead and follow some of my other videos on it this is on my moto g uh, fourth gen so, but Torp Recovery is available for lots and lots of devices. And this is just a real simple, easy way to install this. So I'm just gonna show it to you. So we're gonna go ahead and go into installs. Just click on the zip, swipe across to flash. Um, while this is flashing, I think the best part about uh, Magus uh, root access and using their Magus manager is the fact that it is open source. So SuperSU has never been open source, and this manager is, and I think that's a huge thing. Um, I mean, I love Chainfire. He does amazing development, but his work is just not open source. And the fact that we have open source for this, we can go to GitHub and actually look at everything, which I'll link in the video description, is a big thumbs up in my book. This does have a lot of other cool features kind of built into the manager as well. So we're just going to go ahead and let it boot up, and I'm going to show you, once we got this installed, how this functions. All right, so here you go, we are powered up. Now the thing to note with this manager is that it is systemless root. Um, and I like that, it means it doesn't modify anything on the system partition, it strictly basically patches the boot image. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. It does say to go to the Play Store and download the latest version. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and hit update. And this will go ahead and update us to the latest version. The other thing that's nice, if you just want to try using the manager application and you have already rooted with Super SU, you can use that. It's fine. You don't have to flash this in Torp Recovery, the zip like we just did. You can just download the app, the manager here, and utilize it. So that's a big thumbs up as well. So it, it does accept the Super SU binary, which is really, really nice. So we're just gonna let this finish installing. And there we go. Um, the other thing to note is the fact that um, because it's systemless root, you should be able to take OTA updates and it not hurt anything because again, it doesn't modify that system partition. But let's go ahead and, and open up the application and take a look at it. So there's some permissions you have to allow, obviously. So latest version installed, does look like it's um, properly rooted, okay. It tells you it's rooted with their SU file instead of super SU, but it would tell you that there as well. And then top to start safety net check. That's up to you if you want to use it. There is a lot in here though. So we can go into installs and you can see what's installed on the device. You can adjust this, it's really nice. Keep in force, um, force encryption, keep DM Verde. So you can do some stuff there, download and install, uninstall if you want to just mess with some different things there. Here's your super user. So this would be the allowed applications. So let me go ahead and just download one and show you what it looks like when you grant super SU or super user permission. Okay, so we went ahead and downloaded one of the applications, root checker right here, excellent application. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it and agree. And then, yeah, yada, 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 get started, baloney. Okay, so right here, verify root. And there you go, there is the request. So we're gonna go ahead and grant. And there you go, it says you have root access. So that's what the pop-up looks like. Let's just turn it install in there. And then we're gonna go back into it. And you, what you should have is you should have that listed under here. There you go. And you also have a little toggle on there. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, root management utility. Now, this is the thing that I think is the neatest about this is modules and downloads. So modules, there's gonna be nothing in here right now. We'd have to add a module, but let's go to downloads. And you can see this is very much like um, exposed framework and you have all these different modules that you can download and utilize through their manager. So I think that's really cool. And actually at the bottom you have exposed framework. 
um, Viper for Android, Universal Kernel Manager. You've got all these things built into their manager that you can also download and utilize on your system. And that's awesome in my opinion. I like that a lot. Very, very cool. And then you can uh, you know, enable the modules here and turn them on and off and manage them through Magist Manager. Um, otherwise, you've got logs, settings. Um, you do have dark theme. I did find when I turned this on before, it... Um, Oh, it's going to work. Last time it crashed it, and I had to just reopen it. It's not a big deal. Probably just something in the background going on. Um, core mode only. You can turn enable busy box. We'll do that. Okay, now this is the other thing that's really nice. You can manage your apps and ADB for root access or super user access. Um, and then you've also got, you can hide different things. So if you want certain applications to not see that the device is rooted, you can manage those there. So that's a really nice as well. Enable advanced debugging logging, enable shell command, enable logging. Okay, so just some other things for developing right there. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm liking it. And I like the dark theme as well. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. So there you go, guys. That's kind of an overview of this manager, this new uh, systemless root method, and the manager that works with it and all the modules and some cool stuff. So anyways, guys, if you're interested in installing this manager and checking it out, and like I said, looking at the open source code, um, I'm going to give you guys links to everything you can find in the video description down below. It's really cool, and check it out on your Android device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video here, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.